Advent is all about the waiting. It is the time when the Christians among us are invited to await the birth of a savior, to slide into the shoes of Mary, of a woman awaiting the birth of her child amidst terrible, unkind conditions. It is a time when all of us are invited to imagine awaiting such a birth and to live into a time of waiting, of wonder, of fear, and of hope, of living in the darkness, resting and wrestling too with the tensions and turmoil within us that finally have the space to surface. Waiting in darkness and stillness and with anticipation for birth are times for facing our depth and the depths of the breath and breath of life. In our reading this morning, Isaac Viegas, from Reverend Isaac Viegas, we heard a retelling of creation, of the beginning of the birth. Now this is so significant as an Advent poem, as it is a retelling of the Advent story as the creation story, right? Advent is typically about Mary awaiting the birth of Christ, a mortal woman awaiting the birth of God. And here, in this poem, we have God, a black woman, she who is silence, she who births all of life. In the beginning was the end, and in the end, silence. And the silence is God. She was and is God, all of life born through her. She flashes rays of darkness, and the whiteness does not overcome her. Because in her is life and her. Her life is flesh like midnight. In the dark, her eyes flicker to home and her chest trembles mine. With the quiet of the Most High, we have seen her glory, a raven's black sheen, beauty's shadow. Her eyes flicker to home. This is a Hebrew word used in the creation story of the Bible and means the deep. It describes the primeval oceans and the post-creation waters. Now, many of us could easily and quickly translate much of this God language to our understanding of the universe. And do do this later and always do the theological philosophical translations that you need, for we always need them in our fellowship of many theologies and beliefs. <laughs> and, before jumping there, I invite you to sit with me in the significance of the power of the divine being flesh, being feminine, being black. Having eyes that flicker the deep and power that is vocalized through silence. Through silence and creation. In these days, in all days, we would gain much for meditating on the reality of a God such as her. If life had this origin of beauty and silent power, how might we be called, be invited to be living? We might cultivate silence honor the beauty of blackness and all it has to hold, swim in the depths of the deep, and create life more than war and violence. We might too be unafraid in the dark, the silence, the deep, for it is here where we are closer to her. Here where we are closer to our most pure selves, if we too are divine, and in the deep dark we are returning to her, the divine, and to our most true selves. 
And is this not so for all of us? That when we are amidst the depths in the dark and in the silence and stillness, that it is here where our full selves are most present to us. It is here in the deep where our biggest fears and our biggest dreams are most known to us. So my invitation to us this season is to come here to the dark, to the deep, to be with our fears and dreams, for this is the invitation she gives us and the invitation Advent gives us, to swim in the depths without fear of drowning, for we are not alone, for we are returning to our waters of origin, to the womb, to join her in darkness, to be in the deep, where we can be clearly, fully with ourselves. Now, you know I love giving homework and I'm not just gonna leave you <laughs> floating in the depths. <laughs> what is it that we are to do here in the deep, in this dark, which brings sharp clarity and focus to all that we are and to ourselves? We are, this is I think in some ways the most easy and in some ways the most difficult homework assignment. We are to sit in silence. In quiet, one discovers the will of God. This is the title of one of the reflections of Reverend Dr. Howard Thurman in Meditations of the Heart, a collection of his prayers, poems, and short essays. Now Thurman, for those who you do not know, was a pastor, professor, dean, theologian, prolific author, and civil rights leader. And if you've not heard his name before, write it down and Google it. That's one of your homework assignments, okay. <laughs> it is in the quiet, Thurman tells us, where we are able to discern who we are and what is it that we are to do in this world, in his words, to discern the will of God. And so he says, we ought to carve out the time to regularly spend in the quiet, lest our lives be lived without meaning or connection to a greater cause or the divine, lest our lives be lived without purpose. He writes, always there is the checking and rechecking, testing and retesting of one's life in the light of what seems more and more the right course the right way for one's life. At length, one's entire life, no particular aspect of it, but one's entire life becomes pervaded with a quality which is the divine quality, an accent which is the divine accent. By taking regular time in the quiet, in the dark, in the deep, we have the opportunity for reflection and discernment to ask the question, is this life, this present life and its current movement, what I ought to be doing? What is it that is mine to do? What is important and needed here and is mine to do with my gifts and myself? What is mine? Is this who I am called to be doing and what I am called to be doing? Are my fears shaping my life more than my dreams? Are my dreams still leading me? Are my dreams still the right dreams for me? These are the questions for the deep, for the dark, the stillness, for this Advent time of the year. The answer we hope to find and find again is what is ours to do? What is ours, what is mine, so we might know it quietly in our chests as we move back into the world from the deep. So, let us be brave enough to go there this season. I know you all to be fairly brave. So I know we can do it. For now we know the truth of the beauty and the life of the dark of the deep. 
It is in the deep and in the dark, under the ground, beneath our feet, in the soil of the earth that life takes root. There is warmth and joy into home, in the deep, in the waters, and in the soil. And in the dark, there is power, so powerful it is quiet. And beauty so magnificent, we can only describe its sheen, its shadow. A fullness overwhelming in the dark, a limitless potential. This season, let us return there to her, to the deep dark. We have seen her glory, a raven's black sheen, beauty's shadow. In the dark, her eyes flicker to home, and her chest trembles mine. With the quiet of the Most High, She flashes rays of darkness, and the whiteness does not overcome her. Because in her is life, and her life is flesh like midnight. In the beginning was the end, and in the end, silence. And the silence is God. She was and is God, all of life, born through her. Amen.